Dean Timothy George, Dean of the Beeson Divinity School at Samford University, will give our invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, on this night of thanksgiving and remembrance, we praise Thee and we bless Thee for every mercy of the past and for Thy presence still. Be Thou yet our guide and our one sure hope forever. Teach us to number our days that we may live our lives not carelessly nor flippantly, but coram Deo before Thee in the light of eternity. On this night, we thank Thee for the life and witness of our friend Jero Hodges, for his courage, his faith in Thee, and for the stewardship of a life invested in the things that matter most. As we seek to honor him, may we also honor you. And for others not here tonight but known to thee, we remember and bless their memory in thy presence. Even as we thank thee for the bounty of food that nourishes and sustains us for journeys yet incomplete. O Holy Spirit, come into our hearts and grant us charity with fear. Guard us, O Christ, from all evil and so warm and inflame us with thy suffering love, shown so clearly one Friday in Jerusalem. O Holy Father, gentle Lord, help us in every need and keep us close to thee, now and forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Thank you, you may be seated. About five years ago, I began to work on Jero to let me borrow some of his documents and read some of his division history. And uh, as you might know, Jero is always more interested in what other people need than uh, what he has. Uh, about April of, of uh, last year, I was able to look at uh, some of the documents and realize these were museum quality World War II historical documents and that this was a story that, uh, that needed to be told. And by then, I began accumulating a, a scrapbook and, and uh, with the help of uh, Davis Library and Elizabeth Wells and uh, with Jerome's help, we began to accumulate uh, documents and newspaper clippings. And uh, I presented to Tom Courts, our president, the, uh, the book that I had uh, was now four inches thick and said, I think there's a story here and it's more than just an oral history. I think this is worthy of a, of a film documentary if we can get somebody to do it. Uh, Tom looked it over and he, he agreed and, we, uh, uh, and then he began to uh, make inquiry of, of someone who could produce a documentary. We were referred to uh, T.N. Mohan of uh, Huntsville, Alabama who has uh, produced some award-winning documentaries. Uh, we have been to the National Archives. We, we've uh, dealt with the with museums in France and the Imperial War Museum and talked to veterans. And it's been a joy just to uh, bring together this bit of history which would have otherwise been, been lost. 